Hi, this is David Doss from Mo2. In this video, I'm going to show you a great production technique for using digital performers beat detection features to quantize audio. I'm working on a smooth jazz tune today and I need to lay down a real light, easy picking guitar part. I'm not a professional guitarist myself, but in this video, I'm going to show you how I can use the beat detection features to instantly clean up and quantize my audio. Before I start, let me make sure in DP's preferences that on the general background processing page, the options to analyze beats and tempo are enabled. Then on the editing edit windows page, I'll make sure that show beat grid lines is enabled. Now I'm ready to record. My playing is a little looser than, let's say, how a pro might play it, but I can easily use DP's beat detection features to fix up this part quickly. In the sequence editor, I'll zoom in on my picked electric guitar part. Visually, I can see that each note is just a little off the grid. First, let me highlight the sound bite and then choose Audio, Audio Beats, Adjust Beat Sensitivity, or Control D as the shortcut. As I drag its slider left and right, I'm adjusting its beat sensitivity, meaning how loud does a peak have to be in order to be counted as a beat. I need to find the right sensitivity so that the majority of notes are marked as beats without too many misfires. Once I've found the right setting, I click Apply. Before I tighten it up, let me take one extra step as a precaution, and I'm going to duplicate this take. When I record it, I record it into take one, but I'll choose Duplicate Take and rename this new take 1QT, which is my personal shorthand for quantized. Now that I'm in 1QT, I won't be touching my original take, which is take 1. I can select this sound bite and now choose Region, Quantize, or use Command-0 or the shortcut. In the Quantize window, I want to quantize beats within sound bites, and for this music, I'll be quantizing to the 16th note. Once I click Apply, take a look at that nicely tightened up part. If for any reason I need to go back to the original, I can always do so just by selecting Take 1. So that's a quick look at the miracle of beat detection, making ordinary players extraordinarily accurate, quickly.